What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be doing a little monochromatic moment. I um, posted on stories the other day, I had a makeup look on. It was a little bit more taupey than what I'm gonna do today. I kind of wanna do like chocolatey, rich with, with like a little bit of shimmer. I am gonna be using this, which I have been using pretty much every single time I've been doing eyeshadow. I do like it quite a bit. This is the Makeup by Mario Master Eye Prep and Set Eye Primer Kit. I feel like I'm always bouncing around with different primers that I like to use for my eyes. Um, I think I always end up going back to using a concealer, uh, but this one, it has two different creams in here that you can use to either blend or do the brow, highlight the brow bone kind of mix um, to make it match your skin tone a little bit better. And then there is a setting powder with it as well. So for the base, I kind of mix a little bit of um, both of them. I typically don't want my all over eyeshadow base to be like too bright, you know? Kind of want to go like more warm tones today. And you can use a lot of different palettes for this. Like really whatever warm tone palette that has like a light, medium and deeper shade. So I'm gonna start with Necessary because that shadow is just always it for me. I like to use this Kylie brush. I know I always use this one. This is number 15. And I'm just starting it on the outer corner here and kind of buffing it all over the lid. I'm gonna go ahead and keep layering. This is the ColourPop E17 brush. I don't know if I've talked to you guys about this one before. It's kind of bomb. It's round, it's fluffy, it's very soft on the eyes. Uh, and I'm gonna use Tro and just start building it up kind of on the lid like I'm doing a smoky eye, but not really a smoky eye. So I'm kind of bummed out because I'm supposed to be going on a trip next week with um, all of my old roommates, my uh, roommates from my freshman year of college. We were all gonna go on a trip. We go on like a annual trip somewhere, usually in December. And this year we were gonna go visit um, one of the girls who just moved to Idaho. Literally she moved like two months ago and we were like, oh, how fun. We can go hang out in the snow or whatever. Well, we ended up canceling the trip cause I don't know, it just didn't really feel like a good time to travel. And I literally, like, I don't know if you guys have traveled at all or if you traveled anywhere during the holidays, but I don't think I've gone anywhere. Like this entire year, I literally don't think I've gone anywhere. Like I'm trying to think, have I stayed at the night anywhere besides my own home? And I don't think I have. <sighs> I was really looking forward to going to the snow. Like winter is my favorite season. I was just picturing myself, you know, at the bottom of a mountain, not going snowboarding because it's like a little bit too much work for me, to be totally honest. I really just like had this vision of myself, December 9th through 12th, just really living it up in the mountain town, going to pancake houses, eating lots of pancakes, us sitting around watching Hallmark movies. Anyway, I feel like several times this year, obviously that's not like an actual problem. I know that canceling our trip, um, but it was another one of those like the Selena Gomez like gif where she's like laughing through her tears, you know, just kind of like sad. This year, man, this year is crazy. Cheens is the next shade. We're gonna start adding that on to the lash line. Start making it a little bit smoky, not too smoky. Are you guys going anywhere for the holidays? Are you staying home? It was just John and I for Thanksgiving this year. I did have a 17 pound turkey for the two of us. And I'm just kind of like tapping this. I'm gonna blend this out as well, but we're just kind of blending it in. Like this is like the smoky, non-smoky eye, you know? An oldie, but a goodie. And then we'll come back in and blend it out. Thought I thought I was recording for the whole last clip, but I wasn't, but I just blended out what I applied with the smudger brush. And I used that one color pop one. I just kinda. Um, so now I'm gonna go ahead and use a shimmery color. Crazy. <laughs> um, so this is a Pat McGrath one. I cannot find the name on here. It says 109. 1909A. So I'm just gonna apply it with my finger and then I am gonna add a little bit of the sparkle right in the center of the eye. Tap this on and this is that one kind of like fudgy color. The one thing that has really been keeping me going this year, and please sense my sarcasm. I've really gotten into TikTok. I don't make a lot of TikToks, but I definitely watch a lot of TikTok now. So literally the comment section on TikTok is feeding my soul throughout this entire year. You know, I'm on it. I'm up in my For You page and it's giving me good content. It's giving me life, but I have to say the comment section is killing me like in the best way possible. The sense of humor that people have on TikTok feeds me. It gives me energy, gives me life. I wish that we could have that um, other places as well. I'm like, can we get a comment section like that on Instagram going? Can we make that happen, please? I would love that. Oh, it's a little chunkier than I thought it was gonna be. 
I didn't love that Pat McGrath shade that was on my eyes, which is kind of weird. It was like a little too chunky sparkly for me. So I'm gonna go in with this palette. This is the Skin Deep one um, from NARS. I use this palette all the time, even though it looks virtually untouched, which is very on brand for me. This is the one that I used the other day when I did the taupe look. Um, I'm gonna take this shade here. This is kind of a bronzy one. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and tap this on the lid. Yes, that is what I was looking for. Thank you, NARS. Isn't it funny? Sometimes I'm like, I need more shimmer, I need more sparkle, I need more reflect. And then other times I'm like, can I get a little bit less, please? It's a little bit aggressive for my taste right now. Back to TikTok, when I was explaining to John, cause he's still not on it. He says he doesn't like TikTok. I don't know if you guys saw that podcast that we did. Um, he's like, thinks it was stupid. Now he like loves doing TikTok type videos. So I was explaining to him how like good my For You page is. Like I was like literally like, dude, the stuff that they're showing me, the content that they're giving to me, because I thought it was like only dance videos. The content they're giving me is so good that I can't even explain it. It's like, it's in my mind and it knows what I wanna see. And normally that would freak me out. We actually did watch a, um, I think it was on 60 Minutes we watched this episode. It was about TikTok and how they were trying to ban TikTok in the US. And the reason, I mean, one of the reasons to put it pretty vaguely was that like their algorithms are too good. They're too good at learning what we wanna see. And I was like, John, like normally that would kind of freak me out, but it's so good that I'm not even mad at it. <laughs> Which, is that terrible to say that? Well, I just love seeing what weird content it's gonna give me that day. These are cat eye lashes from Flutter. Yeah. So what I've been doing is putting a tiny drop or like a little dash of lash glue on, oh cool, on my lashes. Um, right on the inner corner because sometimes they tend to lift. Normally I trim my lashes a lot more narrow than this, but um, on this style, I do like to leave it a little bit longer. So I like to pop some of the glue directly onto the lash line so it sticks really well in that area. And while we're talking about algorithms, the uh, Instagram algorithm is like really starting to upset me. I mean, it's always been a little annoying, but lately it's like there are content creators that I follow where I do everything you're supposed to do to like get their content to show up in your feed, like like their photos, watch their stories, whatever it might be, right? And they still don't show up in my feed. There was somebody I thought of today and I was like, oh, I haven't seen them in a while. I wonder what they're up to. And I went to their page and there was all this stuff that I hadn't seen yet. And I was just like, why, why? I hope Instagram like doesn't become like bigger than itself, you know what I mean? I feel like that sometimes happens with platforms. So I'm hoping that Instagram doesn't keep going down that path because I do really like using that app and I love, I feel like that's one of my favorite apps to like engage with people. And I'll be really sad if that goes away. I don't know, I, I don't know how you guys are feeling about the gram, but it's just kind of been bothering me lately. And the fact that I thought of people today specifically who I like their photos or comment or whatever, and they're still not showing up in my feed, I'm just like, I literally chose to follow these people and they're not showing up in my feed and it's upsetting me. <laughs> it's probably the worst thing to eat while I film, but these, I love red vines. These don't really taste anything like, like classic licorice. When I first touched it, it has the texture of a Twizzler, which I don't like Twizzlers, but it kind of tastes like those, um, I think it's like Australian licorice. I don't know if you guys have had that stuff before. Oh my God, so good. It's complexion time. I'm going back to this bad boy, by the way. NARS Radiant Longwear. This is the shade Santa Fe. Clip my hair back. Look what I got, little gift. I said, oh, is this for me? I'm getting a facial tomorrow, so I'm saving those little gems for them. I feel like they'll have a good time with that. You know, estheticians love that kind of stuff. They're like, they're nasty. Since we started talking about TikTok, now I kind of want to know, you guys have to tell me, if you're on TikTok, like, you know, you're watching, please tell me what's on your For You page. I'm so curious as to what is like on other people's algorithms. I feel like mine, what is mine mainly? I mean, it's pretty all over the place. Obviously a lot of um, interesting, funny dog videos pop up on mine. I don't know why, but for some reason, I like to do my cream bronzer before I do um, concealer. Clearly, this has been a go-to product for me. I think it's got brush fibers in it. I need to clean this shit out. That is... If you were to put this under a microscope, you would be disappointed in me. Anyway, the e.l.f. Flawless Face Brush. Face Brush is my favorite to apply. Fenty Cream Bronzer. 
kind of buff it into the cheeks a little bit more. I feel like when I go really like kind of more warm tone with my shadow, I don't like to do a lot of blush. So I'm probably gonna keep it pretty neutral toned on the blush today, which normally I like to go kind of like a either peachy or a cool pink. I will go heavy on a cool pink blush. This is light medium beige shape tape. Oh my God, it's so 2017, right? Can you believe it's almost 2021? <laughs> Why does that sound so ridiculous? I swear this year was the fastest, slowest year of my existence. All right, so I'm gonna use this tiny little, um, this is a Real Technique sponge. I just kind of buff this out here. I just gotta let you guys know, I know I was off YouTube for a minute and it was not intentional, it was not planned or anything like that. And I didn't wanna come back on and be like where I was at or why I was gone kind of thing. Like I didn't wanna make it a big deal because it wasn't like a specific thing that I necessarily wanted to talk about. It was just, dude, it, life this year has just been crazy. It's been crazy for everybody. This year has affected literally everyone in one way or another. And honestly, I just, uh, some stuff got to me. Like it just kind of felt like series of unfortunate events of things that were happening. And I just couldn't find the, like the, the space. I didn't have the space or like the, I didn't feel like cr any creativity. Like I just felt kind of blah. And it was really hard for me to try and make YouTube videos. And I, what I didn't want that I, I you know, I was like, you know, I kind of want to bring this up. Sometimes I don't like to point things out because I don't want attention to be on it, but it's hard for me to see she seems off in this video. Is something wrong? She doesn't seem like herself. Like sometimes those bother me because I don't think it's true. Um, but sometimes those bother me because they are true. I don't know if that makes sense, but I just didn't want to like make videos just to make videos. I really wanted to like feel it and be excited about it. So that was kind of uh, the situation with the past couple months. I literally thought about it every single day. Like, oh my God, I can't believe that I'm, I'm having a hard time thinking of something that I want to film right now. So I kind of wanted to touch on that in like, I don't know, one of my videos, but I didn't want it to make it, whoa but I didn't wanna make it like a big deal. It's been a tough year. I know it's been a tough year for everybody. I always tell myself like it could always be worse or it, there could always be like something more going on, you know, and I never tell that to other people. I'm always like, dude, you feel how you feel if you're having a hard time or if you're going through it or like shit sucks right now, then that's just the way it is. And like, that's okay to feel that way, you know, but I always have a hard time telling myself that. And I never want to come across as like, I'm complaining or anything like that. That is just that uh, BTW. Let me just throw this out here real quick. I started doing um, this. It's not like a technique. I just started setting my under eyes a little bit differently. Um, Angel Mac Daddy did my makeup and he set my eyes using just a brush. And I really liked the way that he did it. He definitely pressed harder than I ever press on my face. Uh, you guys know I'm typically pretty delicate with my makeup, so it was challenging for me to try and do this, but I load up a brush, and I've been using this one from Real Techniques. This is their setting brush. Load it up, and then just press it on, kind of press, press, press. I'm not going all the way up to the under eye because I'm still gonna put some shadow on. And this really has helped prevent any mascara from transferring on my under eyes. And then what I've been doing also to set is, you know, I go back and forth between setting my whole face and not setting my whole face. This is the MAC Next to Nothing powder in the shade Medium. I don't, I'm like, do they still have this powder out? Um, and this is just an angled powder brush from um, Smashbox. But to get it all around and just kind of set the rest of the face. I've really been liking using this as a setting powder lately. It's very lightweight. It's next to nothing, you know? If you know, you know. Okay, so now blush. I wanna keep it fairly neutral. This is from Catrice Cosmetics. It literally looks like spider legs stuck to that. Um, this is Mrs. Amber Brown, the strobing blush. This uh, blush actually has like a really pretty finish to it. Slightly, slight, slight, um, not even a shimmer, but just like a nice satin finish to it. 
oh, I love this eyeshadow color. I'm tell I'm first of all I'm mad that NARS discontinued this palette, so I just try to make sure I don't lose it. But um, the the shimmers in here, they're not metallic, like they're not foiled shadows. They're not super sparkly. They just look so pretty and light. And then I'm just gonna do the lower lash line really, really quickly. For the waterline, I was debating going between like a, a smokier matte pencil, but I love this one. This is the Marc Jacobs highliner in the shade Ro Coco. Um, it's kind of an in-between like taupey. It's not really golden bronze. I would use a more bronzy one if I could find one. I just love these because they reflect the light just a tiny bit. It gives you that smokiness in the waterline without being um, too like dark and matte. One of those pencils that I really, really love for the waterline. I'm gonna load up on some mascara. You see what I'm saying, you guys? You see what I'm saying with the eyeshadow? Oh, this is like my favorite like type of eyeshadow to do right now. I absolutely love it. Okay. Um, Next up is the lip. I found this lip liner and it looked really pretty. So I'm gonna try it out with these Buxom lipsticks. I grabbed Dreambow, we're gonna try it out. It's kind of like a chocolatey brown color, which I thought was really pretty. Uh, this is the e.l.f. Retro Paradise Lip Liner. Can anyone see how dry my lips are? Like don't look, but <laughs> my God, I'm dry. Look at that, look at the richness happening in there. It's also fairly um, creamy, 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 creamy. Such a good fall color. I do wanna add a slightly deeper lip liner, a little bit. All right, this is Limitless, Limitless Brown from Makeup Forever. I'm just gonna add a little last stuff here. I'm gonna touch up my brows a little bit. I'm touching up with the Sigma Brow Pencil. I've been on the hunt for more brow pencils. I've tried quite a few. I tried it. Tried it. <laughs> I tried the Arches and Halo. I think it's what Arch and Halo one from Target. I didn't really like that one. It was very waxy. Um, I did get the Elf one, which I do like. I use that one pretty much every day in that whole half of my brow. There's something about this Sigma one that I really, really love. I think it's because it's like really creamy, but I think I'm literally about to be completely out of brow product like any day now. 10 points for not spilling on my shirt or what? Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. That's right, Turbo. That's it for today. Cool clap, love that for me. I uh, really love doing this type of look right now. I'll do it with taupe, I'll do it with chocolate brown, I'll do it with whatever you want. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and thank you so much for watching. Boom, 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 boom.